Hi everybody, it's DK here with Mr. V Amps. Where have I been? I don't know. Anyway, um, I got some auction stuff. Probably overpaid for it. But the auctions have been really boring and I'm cranking out merch. Uh, if anybody's been keeping track of my reverb store, we still been working there. Um, anyhow, so this is a PV Viper practice amp thing, and I have no idea if it works, but I guess we're about to find out. So I went and found it a power cord, and now we test. So ready for the explosion? Three, two, one. And I just got the solid state snap, which is the wake up call, and it's doing the happy dance. Uh, the happy dance is kind of normal for these, if I remember correctly, uh, until they get signal. When you plug a cable into them, yeah, it stops playing the happy dance. Okay, so it's on the high gain. Okay, so you can pick your amp, and there's effects apparently in place here. Yeah. So there's like different amps and then there's like high gain versions. Let's see. That seems to be working. Except for, let's see, now some of these encoders are kind of working and some of them don't look like they are. The heck. Okay, so some of these encoders aren't working so hot. Like the high, let's see, the high one, it kind of doesn't really want to work so good. Yeah, so these aren't working so hot like they're, these are like rotary encoders or something, and they seem like they're trying to work, but in general, I guess the amp kind of works. Okay, so if I turn this slow, I'm getting good reaction. If I turn it fast, I'm getting rubbish. So, if I turn them slow, they seem to want to work. So that's good. Does this post gain one actually? Yeah. So they all seem to work. I guess they just need a cleaning, so I think we lucked out with this one. I can probably give it a bath, clean the controls, and it'll be okay. Okay, so the next amp I got here is a Fender Princeton Chorus. It's got two 10-inch speakers in it. Some moron broke the three pin, or broke the third pin off the electric plug. So we'll have to deal with that. I suppose we can see if it works. Okay, so I heard the reverb kind of thunder when I turned it on. The pulse depth thing, I think that's for the chorus, right? You can turn it on or off. Okay, and then there's volume, treble, middle, bass, reverb gain limiter presence so gain limiter presence that's is that for the channel let's see what's that say that's channel select so yeah that's like the gain channel and then there's a mid boost so this should be like maybe clean channel and boost channel I think okay 
I guess we get our cable and see if it wants to work or not. This is like a 90s, early 90s fender. Okay. I think it's extra loud. Let's turn it down. It's really freaking loud. See if input two is less noisier. Yeah, that's like the lower gain input. That seems a little more manageable. These pots are really filthy. I mean, really filthy. And we can try like. That's the high gain channel. Oh good, and my phone's are ringing. Oh, it's somebody I want to talk to. Okay, so... I was talking business. This thing is really loud kaboom sometimes. Again, I think these controls need to be cleaned really bad, and then this is the chorus thing. Yeah, that seems to work. There is a foot switch with it too. So... Reverb works. And it's apparently loud as frig. So, uh, yeah, this is another chirp to you too. Um, this is another probably not lose from the auction. So, so far, we're doing okay. Um, let me know. I'm just going to post this as is just for fun. Um, but let me know if you actually want to see the process of servicing these to get them ready for sale. Okay, and then there's this thing. Fender BXR100. Um, broken pot. Pot missing a slider thing. Or missing a knob. We fixed one of these a long time ago. This one's like the cord restraint to keep you from ripping it out of the back is missing out of the back all right let's see what this does nothing zero zilch nothing so considering that the cord restraint whoa crap okay so I would say the power cord is not well connected inside or something like that. So we should probably look at that. So the cord here, the strain relief was missing. I'm sure it's been ripped or cut or something, but wiggling it did make a big sparky inside. Hooray. So yeah, the cord inside of here is torn. Hopefully there's nothing else severely wrong with this thing. I hope not. Otherwise it's parts. But we fixed these before. So two for three we have things that should be very straightforward to service and then this is a big question mark so we'll get to it. Let me know what you think.